them have already taken place. As you know, earlier in the day, we had a special University Connect event, which uh, virtually brought together students from 75 universities across the country, uh, external affairs ministers, as well as Prime principal secretary prime minister, were among the distinguished speakers. The interest of student um, actually bodes well for our efforts at engaging the youth in G20 activities. We are also involving school students through special G20 sessions in various schools. Uh, taking this people's participation concept further, today the Hornbill Festival in Kohima features a special focus on the G20. We will try to do that with some other festivals as we go along. Uh, 100 monuments, including some UNESCO World Heritage Sites, are being specially illuminated today. And citizens have been invited to join a selfie campaign that is being run by MyGov around those illuminated monuments. I wanted to stress that we want a whole of government, whole of India approach, and you will see various parts of uh, the government, uh, particularly coordinated by the uh, G20 Secretariat, trying to take forward um, the now numerous events that we have planned across uh, till next September and beyond as our presidency unfolds. So please follow the latest developments on the G20 social media accounts. All of them are now active. Um, I think Twitter, Facebook, Insta, Ku. Um, the website, which is again now with India, second G20 Secretariat, as well as a special app that has been launched. And uh, we should be able to bring you events as we move forward. Moving on, the second announcement I had was on the visit of the Federal Minister of Foreign Affairs of uh, the Republic of Federal Republic of Germany to India. Uh, Her Excellency Ms. Annalena Baerbock, uh, Federal Minister, will pay an official visit to India from 5th to 6th December. During her stay in Delhi, she will be hosted by External Affairs Minister for bilateral talks on 5th December. They will, of course, hold discussions on bilateral issues as well as regional and global issues of mutual interest. Um, as strategic partners, India and Germany have had a long-standing under relationship underpinned by common values and shared goals. In fact, in 2021, um, we commemorated 70 years of the establishment of diplomatic relations. This year, we have had uh, several high-level engagements between the two countries, including Prime Minister's visit to Berlin for the 6th India-Germany intergovernmental consultations. And then subsequently, Prime Minister again went to Germany to Schloss Elmau for a partner country of the G7 meeting at the invitation of Chancellor Scholz. Uh, so we look forward to the visit of a Foreign Minister of Germany. Uh, coming back to important days, today also we uh, assumed the chairmanship of the Wassenaar arrangement. Um, actually, the formal assumption will be from the 1st of January for a period of one year, but today... At the 26th annual plenary of the Wassenaar arrangement, which was being held in Vienna, um, Ambassador of Ireland handed over the chairmanship to our ambassador and permanent representative to the UN, Sri Jadeep Mazumdar, uh, who is based in Vienna. Um, we joined the Wassenaar arrangement on 8th December 2017 as its 42nd participating state. As you know, Wassenaar arrangement is a multilateral export control regime which through regular information exchange among members on various issues like transfer of conventional arms, dual use goods, technologies, seeks to promote transparency and greater responsibility in such transfer and prevent destabilizing accumulations. It operates on the basis of consensus and as chair of, uh, incoming chair of uh, the Wasana arrangement, India remains ready and committed to work in close cooperation with other members of this grouping to contribute to regional international security and stability. So this is something uh, positive development again. And finally, uh, India also assumes the presidency of the United Nations Security Council today um, for the month of December. Um, this is the second time during our two-year tenure that we, uh, you know, we as an elected member, uh, we have taken over this presidency. Last time was last year, August 2021. We have a couple of high-level events coming.